Good afternoon, this is Floss Tube number eight and I'm actually quite surprised I've managed to keep doing this weekly for two months now, so yay, go me. Um, hopefully I'll be able to keep doing this and keep giving you updates and finally I'll have a finish one day. We shall see, but not this week. So no finally finished objects, no finishes, but first off, quick life update, still no car still can't find one I like struggling to test drive them because of my sprained ankle uh, but uh, still gonna carry on looking if his cars are in a little bit short supply at the moment in the second-hand market but I'll keep keep going and I will let you know when I do get one yay I'll be quite excited to let you know when I get one uh, first up this week is yet another golden oldie week going to keep doing this for some time because you may or may not have worked out that I have a lot of finished projects and they sit mostly in that bag and in a bag above it and I get them out and iron them one a week for you to show off because otherwise they just stay in that bag and I really need to do something about it I have a lot that need to be framed and they're not going to get framed until Covid settles down a bit and until I've managed to get a flu jab as well so probably not until next year but I'm gonna keep my framer busy but this one is an old round robin I did with a group that originally started on a bulletin board called I Village which I don't think is around anymore and then we moved on to Yuku which then became Tapper Talk and now we're on Facebook same group of friends just over 60 of us that we still talk and uh, this round robin was done in oh I don't actually know some time ago there's no date on it um, and it's a blue china round robin so if I hold up the whole thing you can see it and then I will explain what I did so uh, when I sent the round robin out I had done the shelf and I'd done the ginger jar in the middle and I just asked my fellow stitchers to put some blue and white china on my shelf so it's and I didn't mind what it was as long as it was blue and white so we have a, a plate looks like a tile it's a cup and a teapot another cup and a big plate and another teapot. We did lots of round robins in that group in our time and uh, had a great fun doing them. I think this one, it looks like it's on uh, possibly Monaco, 28 count Monaco in I think the colours glass blue but I, I'd have to look that up in the book which I'm not sure where I've put that went round with all the round robins. So I can't even tell you who stitched on it or where it went or what year it was done. Just that it was meant to go in my kitchen and it's never been finished. Yay! <laughs> um, this week I managed to stitch on six projects. Most of them were the ones that were on my whip go board. The only one I didn't stitch on was uh, the linen and threads mystery because I didn't have very good lighting. Um, and that one is on a higher count fabric and I need better lighting to do it, especially if I'm tired. But I did some more work on this one, which you'll be very familiar with now. And there's only about, I don't know, 2,000 stitches to go on it. Something like that, I'm not sure. Not that many, maybe. And uh, it'll be finished. So that one will come out next week again. This is Magical Night by Alessandra Adelaide. And it's stitched in the Corporal DMC with the DMC satins in the neon green and yellow and yay, definite progress. I will add in a before picture at, on here and so you can see how, how much I've done. So that one is on 28 count white Monaco and it's 82% complete. It's on my whip go gourd board words whip go board for a finish so I'm hoping 
maybe this month it will be finished it's been called now so yay we'll work on that one next one also whip go project this is a victoria quaker which is from the french designer amonin mapier this one is on 32 count belfast linen in antique ivory uh, the goal on my whip go is to get it to 25 percent it's currently 15 percent so on the way and it's stitched in carrie's creations threads the pink at the moment that's light raspberry and the blue is navy so i did this red bit of the quaker motif and the scissors this week and i think that's it but we're getting there oh and i finished off the thread i left hanging the blue thread i left hanging last week that one will definitely meet its whip go goal soon um next one i stitched on is another one you're very familiar with which is sublime stitches from elizabeth almond blackwork journey and this one is on 28 count linen in a lilac -y lavender shade which i think is a rico fabric it's definitely not as wide art fabric because it's got a blue thread in the selvage non-orange and i've actually stitched across the entire top row now so when i next pick this one up i will be going back over and working on this side and let me hold it up for you and show you what i managed to do this week because i actually met my whip go goal on this one now it's 25 percent complete so I did this motif, which reminds me of Wessex stitchery a bit. It's very, it's a layered stitch. And then I did this Celtic knot motif. And this also, it's, it's like a layered diamond stitch. So let's come in, see if I can get the camera to focus. Maybe if I hold it still. Easier said than done with my body. <laughs> Shaky. But yeah very pleased with that progress on that so that one probably won't come out as much now because the whip go goal has been met and the next one is also a whip go project and it's one that you've seen last week as well and it's a stargazer lily from the silver lining and this one is stitched on a 36 count even weave from so it all called summer's day and i have made more progress on the top flower so i did a whole chunk across here and went up here for another petal and it's nearly reached its top i think the top of it is about here so this will be good and this one is now five percent complete it's on my whip go board to get it to 10% so it will definitely get there by the end of the year but it's already been called so it was called in August so I'm lagging a bit on this one but uh, so it will keep coming out that one you will definitely see next week I'm sure and just for a change I thought I'd throw in a different project this one's not a whip go one um, it might be next year though this one is called a blue eyes and it's from custom crafts and it's a tiger uh, i will put a earlier picture in so you can see the progress i've made um, this one i'm doing on 14 count white ada it's a full coverage and i'm going to do it color by color so i'm working on black which is the most prevalent color first and uh, obviously you will be able to see some tiger stripes come out soon so very pleased with that one that one is now six percent complete and the final project which actually came out twice last week so got i don't know about 500 stitches on it i'm not sure was paris by night based on an aframoff painting which i'm doing on a 20 count even weave from vedigan in the color gelb gold um and I'm doing this one colour by colour also. And I think you could probably tell that I have worked on... It's a soft even weave. So it's quite floppy. Let's see if I can fold it. 
right so I've worked on most of this bit here now so I'm working my way down to the bottom on this side and then of course I'll go across to the other side and finish up but this one I'm also doing colour by colour and I've gridded this one in sulky sliver to make it easy to bounce around from one spot to another and not lose my count and this one is on whip go to get to 25% this is the one that's going to be the struggle it's currently at 6% but I'm hoping I can get there if I work on it consistently for the next few weeks months um, so that's what I worked on this week yay so i'm very pleased with that i got quite a lot of stitches in got some progress met a whip go goal uh, the one i didn't work on was the linen and threads mystery as i said because the lighting wasn't good enough by the time i sat down to stitch um but i didn't buy a car i did buy other things so we're on to haul now segue useless at this aren't i i got two books this week uh, this one I got on eBay and it's called Liberty Cross Stitch and it's from a designer, I think she's French, called Helen LeBaire and uh, I quite like some of her work. This one has some very interesting finishing ideas in it, all using Liberty fabrics uh, with cross stitch uh, to um, decorate them. So there's, And all the patterns for the finishing are in this book. But I really quite like the the delicate colour. So this one's a mirror that you can sew. I mean, obviously you can use these designs for things other than just given. There's a purse. And a, a little evening clutch. There are quite... In, I don't think I've seen anything quite this style of designing before. So I saw it and I thought, oh, I think I might have to have that. Um, so there's a, a place setting. So you see the... It's very delicate. And of course that does suit the Liberty fabrics very well. Oh, right, excuse me one second. And there's another one for holding tea or I mean it could be a beautiful gift pouch if you really like someone <laughs> so and then there's some just some decorative wall art that you could do you can do those as hoop finishes if you wanted but anyway there's some beautiful things in that book so I'm quite pleased with that and uh, I think it was only about three pounds on eBay. And the other one I got is a present, which was brought back from Germany for me. And this says 360 stick motif, which is obviously 365 stitch motifs um, in one book. And I can, the pat it's mostly patterns and not pictures of the designs. So I can give you a little bit of a sneak preview of some of them, but not that many because they don't have pictures so so I've marked the pages I can show you that aren't charts but there's a whole variety in here of different styles of designs for different subjects so some of them are in German and some of them are in English. So you got this one says not my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah, I quite like that one. <laughs> um and I have no idea what that one says. I'm not even gonna try to say it because I'll butcher it. Um, nature and plants. And they only show one of those as a photograph. children's room uh, my, I know a small amount of German 
eating and cooking. Uh, geometric something. Not sure. I think they're all animals. Abstract. No idea what that means. Traditional, so folk art motifs. And these look like they're um, Russian dolls, Matryoshka. And this one says, I think it's uh, holidays. So Yara, Yara, so holidays and Christmas or something. So, yeah. So it's a, there's definitely a lot in here I like. Um, and I think some of the motifs that are words are quite snarky and funny. So I'm going to enjoy those. Even in German, I might put one of those up on the wall and then somebody might not know what it means, but I do. Well, that's mildly amusing to me. <laughs> okay, floss tuber of the week. And I'm sorry, I'm struggling with the voice a bit today. I'm all croaky. Floss tuber of the week will be Alba Stitcher, who that's Amanda, who's in Scotland. Um, I'm in love with her accent. It's so soothing. And her stitching is beautiful. Um, she had a bit of an oops recently and managed to break her ankle. Um, but is now feeling much better, thankfully, and I'm really pleased to see that. Um, but I enjoy her stitching and uh, she's got me stitching more Blackbird designs. So I'm blaming her for the fact that I bought all of the um, little stocking sets for the months of the year. And I haven't started a single one of them yet. Uh, shop of the week would be Lovecrafts, which is usually where I get my DMC from, um, which I tend to just restock a couple of times a year as I carry um, a running set of every colour and I try to have at least two of every colour in the house and then at the uh, period I'll go through, do a little check and then see what I'm running out of. So at any one point in time when I start a project I very rarely don't have the DMC I need. Um, lipstick of the week was this week is Smashbox and it is be legendary, which I won't ever wear it be, but you know, I do like good red lipstick, and it's a a pretty good match for the dress, which is a, a vintage inspired polka dot, and who doesn't like polka dots and red lipstick it's a classic look isn't it and the very last thing I've got this week is the fact that I did a giveaway last week for this kit and there were three commenters that wanted it and I'll stick a video in the end to show the random comment picker picking it but the winner is uh, Selena from Bobo Handcrafts. So I will somehow contact you, Selena. I'll put my email, specifically my YouTube email, in the box below the video so you can send me an email. But I will reply to your comment and let you know that you are the winner this week and that I can send this to you as soon as I can get to the post office. Might be a couple of weeks. We'll see if I can. Venture on the bus. The bus is horrible. <laughs> I don't like the bus. It's painful and difficult. But we'll see what we can do because I'm a bit tired of being stuck at home. And the weather's still nice. So it could be worse. But um, that's it, I think, for this week. Except maybe plans, plans. What shall I do? Um, Plans to stitch are definitely to work more on the Whipco project, see if I can get all of those done as soon as possible. I think I'm quite close to getting the Victoria Quaker one done, if not this week, next week. And also the, um, what's the other one that I'm close to getting done? 
Ooh. Stargazer Lily is quite close. Um, Magical Knight is reasonably close as well. So all three of those are heading towards a, a whip go completion and crossing a square off on my board. I'm really struggling with words today. I need more sleep. Um, but other than that, I will see you next week with more stitching, more updates. I'm not sure if there's anything. I've got one magazine on the way. That's it. And a kit. Yeah, I've got more stash on the way. <laughs> Don't know where I'm going to put it. But I'll talk to you soon. So it's goodbye from me. Bye.